This audio series is the property of the radio advertising people. Use of this audio is restricted and permission must be sought before use. This audio series is rated 80. Contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. was right. I knew what I had done was totally wrong. I had lost Mike completely. Wow. Everyone was gone. Everyone. I arrived in Spain and I was picked up by a driver. They took me straight to the man's residence. Not long after, the sex began. I had become a full-time prostitute. All this time, as I endured strokes from this man in various positions, all I could think of was Joey. Mommy, if you give me a chance, Joey. you are here from your past. I want to build a future with you. I want to father kids. My second name passes since I saw you. I haven't dreamt of you. Mommy, I love you. I love you so much. Joey. I woke up early the next morning. It was day eight, and still no menses. Before I checked out of the hotel, Jennifer called me. Hello, mommy. Hey, Charlie, you dear. Jackie will make money pound. Do you know how the man was praising you? Hey, mommy, Lindsay. Jenny, I don't think I can continue this. So I can't. you are not happy with the money you It's made. not about the money, Jenny. I can't continue this. Jenny, I have been raped before. And this brings so much on my mind um, i understand you don't cry i get you but have you spoken to jackie no but wait did the man do something to you jenny he, tr he treated me like a prostitute he said i was nothing to him so he, he just did very <sighs> nasty things to me i get you i know how these things can get this man said i needed to turn him on before we do anything so i thought maybe taking my clothes off was was enough ah why what did he let you do jenny he said i should lick his feet i didn't want to but i i guess i didn't have any option so i started then all of a sudden he started peeing on me what 
Oh, mommy. I'm sorry, okay? Can you imagine? This man says he, he wants to tie me up because he likes to see his woman suffer because it turns him on. Oh, no, mommy. So he brought out some belt and rope. Jenny, I, I feel so abused. Honestly, I can't continue this, so I can't. Sis, I know this can be difficult, but you just made it. Thousand dollars. I don't know which job can pay you that money in 30 minutes. You will get used to it too. Trust Jenny, me. I have kids. This is too much for me as a mother. Mommy, my mommy, mental mommy, health mommy, is mommy. very important to Listen me. Listen to me. We are women and we are built to withstand pain. We are stronger than men. Look, someday, when you are telling your story... For eh? my girl born into so much drama, the last thing I want to be involved in is this disgusting act. Jennifer still tried to convince me into doing this. Having to sleep with men whom I didn't know from anywhere was going to be extremely difficult. The money was good, very good. Somehow, Jennifer managed to convince me to take this career. So in just a few months of receiving a call from the former president, I have jumped from an aspiring candidate to a prostitute. How did I get here? But you know what? Circumstances change people. But money changes circumstances. I was extremely tempted to forget about returning to the country and continue working for Jackie. I felt Jennifer was right. If I was going to give myself to men to sleep with me in the name of love, then I might as well do it and be paid because eight thousand dollars in my account now this was somehow worth it but in all this it was day eight and still my menses hadn't come mommy there's a second client in portugal i want to give him to you look he's having a party and if you don't mind i can connect you it's a one hour 30 minutes direct flight trust me before you come back to this country eh, you'll be a rich woman Jenny, for me to just have sex with some stranger? Mommy, think hard, oh. Think hard about this. Just take the deal. It's just 20 minutes of sex and then you are done. I will personally tell Jackie to pay you 10,000 US dollars on this one. Okay? Okay, mommy. <sighs> take the deal, okay? Take the deal. Okay, I, I will do it. So Jennifer booked a business class ticket for me to Portugal to see my next client. Friends, this is where it all began. When I arrived at the Portuguese International Airport, I was chauffeured to the hotel. It was a very expensive five-star hotel. I was told my client was going to come in for sex at 11 p.m. As I sat waiting, I decided to go outside and see the city for myself. So I saw this cute cake shop, so I decided to grab a bite. When I went in, there was a black girl standing before me. I realized she looked Ghanaian, so I greeted to see if I could make a friend here. Hi! Hi! What's up? I'm sorry to call you out like that. I'm, I'm just new here and all I could see was just white hair. So I spotted you quickly and because it looks like we are the only black people here. <laughs> yeah, I understand. This place is full of white people. Anyway, my name is Mame. I'm Lily. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, you're Ghanaian, right? Your accent. Yes, I am. This is your first time here? I actually just got into town. I was bored in my hotel, so I decided to explore the city. Oh, Portugal is a lovely place. What's the purpose of your visit? Oh, I'm here on a holiday. That's nice. You came alone? Yeah, so I'm looking forward to making new friends. Well, I live here permanently. Been here um, since I was 13. Now I'm turning 29. Oh, wow. <laughs> then I think I have a 20 here. I'm also 29. And I have a twin sister already though. <laughs> oh, great. Wow, you're a twin. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, she lives with my mom in Australia. And you are globetrotting. <laughs> I just wanted a change of environment. 
Maybe I may relocate and live here. Who knows? Trust me, you'd love it here. So Lily and I talked and talked for hours. She took me to so many places. We became closer, but from lessons learned, I didn't give out too much information about me until she started talking about him. So, do you have a boyfriend? Oh, uh, not at the moment. You guys broke up? Ah, uh, he died. Oh no! What happened? My condolences. It's a long story. Uh, trust me. Uh, we, will, we will spend the whole year talking about it. But we have two kids together. I gave birth to twins. Oh my days! Did he see them? What happened to him? How did he die? Uh, um, he, he died from kidney complications. Oh no! Yeah... I, I lost both kidneys and he donated one of his to me. Wow! Mommy! He must have loved you very much. Yeah. Yeah, Joey loved me. Oh, stop crying. It's okay. I'm sorry I got you all emotional. It's fine. I, I just miss him a lot. That's all. And since then, you haven't seen anyone? <sighs> no, moving on has been quite tough. And I, w I was seeing this guy. And the day we made love, I called him Joey. <laughs> you what? You called him by your baby daddy. <laughs> yeah, he got angry and left me in the room alone. He was so pissed off. <laughs> I can imagine. Oh, mommy, you look very broken. Trust me, I'm very broken. I act tough and strong and all. But deep down within me, I'm a complete mess. Take it easy, okay? Maybe you should consider relocating here. I live with my boyfriend here too. He's a really cool guy. I'll introduce you to him. Oh, his birthday was yesterday, 3rd June. He made us take a huge photo of us. Maybe we can hook you up to someone here and can start a whole new life together. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for a new relationship now. That's the only way to move on, mommy. <sighs> it was getting late. So Lini and I decided to meet up the next day. I had to go back to the hotel because the man I had come to see was ready to have sex with me. I went into his room, took off my clothes, lay on the bed, and closed my eyes. As he had sex with me, I couldn't help it but cry. <laughs> Joey, if you are here, only if you were alive, I wouldn't have been here now. If you're watching me from heaven, please forgive me. When he was done, I went back to my room. It was day 9 and still, I hadn't seen my menses. I didn't have the courage to check because getting pregnant for Mr. Addison was going to be a big problem for me. I wasn't ready to do another nine months. <sighs> Sometimes, I thought of my father. How did I release such a wicked man from prison? We are all not perfect. I'm human. And I'm bound to make stupid mistakes. But I was ready to correct them. So, I called her. Casey. Mommy. Hi, Casey. Wow. <laughs> Jesse Mommy Lindsay is calling me. <laughs> hey, wait. I think I know why she is calling me. Casey, wait, please. No, you wait, Mommy. First off, you and I don't have any business. And secondly, I know. I know why you are calling me after so many years. Casey, look, please. Let's put the past behind us. You destroyed me as much as I destroyed put you. Put the past behind me? Mommy, the past is the reason you are where you are and I am where I agree I am. with you. So I get it. Get it into your thick skull. The past is equally as important Casey, as the present. Uh, let, let, let me cut the long story short. Yes, I made a mistake and got my father out of jail. Derek has a sex tape of me and is using it against me. And you were taken off the team running for member of parliament. Mama, you are such a loser. But calling me a loser is justified if I remained on the ground when I'm beaten. 
So far as I'm willing to yes, stand up and fight yes, again. Yes, yes, I get that. <laughs> so, what do you need from me? Casey, I want to get back into the political race. I want to file and stand as an MP again, but this time as an independent candidate. <laughs> you, you want to get back into politics? You think that this is some game, huh? <sighs> Casey, I'm serious here. And you think I'm kidding here? Let me ask you, why? Why do you want to get back in so desperately? I cannot afford to have my father get his seat back. So you're doing all of this because of your father? Casey, you need to understand me. Mommy, listen. Listen to me. If this is the reason for getting into politics, then you chose the wrong person to work with. Because you will just be another greedy politician who doesn't give a fuck about the real needs of the people. You're just in for your personal selfish gains while people are suffering. And for me... <laughs> And as much as I love money, I have a heart, mommy. You're right. But I'm not the one who's coming to make the country better, Casey. I'm not the one. Then you have no business here. I will not support your true political intentions. Maybe seven years ago, yeah. But now? Nah. Not now. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, I have to go. She hung up. Just like that. Initially, I was going to ignore all she was saying. But when I sat back and thought about all the things the former president said to me about why they were raping girls for political reasons and looking at the living condition of my late mother and I, then how the hospital was running a cash and carry system, my mom died because I hadn't paid money for her to be attended to. I realized Casey was right. I was disappointed in myself. I didn't have to go into politics because of my father. People out there, especially women, are suffering. I wanted to change that narrative. I wanted men who rape women to be properly dealt with. I wanted to stop the cult and its activities from the source. Today, I felt different. Today, I felt like a new woman with new goals and ambitions. I knew this was going to need some very dirty work to get me there. But once I got to the top, I didn't have to forget where I came from. I needed to remember, I once suffered too. Whilst I was feeling all down, yet motivated, little did I know I was going to face the saddest and shocking moment of my life. I was raped. I lost my mom. I had a twin sister. My father raped me. I was nearly assassinated. Yes, I have seen it all. But this one crushed me. It crushed me. Hey, mommy. Where are you? Really? Um, I'm still at the hotel. What's up with you? Oh, nothing much. There's a carnival happening today and I was wondering if you'd like to attend. It's a huge event. I think you should experience it before you leave Portugal. Oh, okay. I would love that. I can't wait. So, what's the plan? We can meet up there. Mm, <laughs> no, I think you'd get lost. So, you know what? What? Let me pick you up at your hotel. Then we can go from there. That's fine by me. How long before you get here? Just give me about an hour. Is that okay for you? Oh, perfect. Go. I'm going to get ready. So I quickly started dressing up. I was leaving Portugal the next day. So I thought it wise to chill for the last before I left. About an hour and a half later, Lily called me. She was at the hotel's reception. Hey girl! Oh, you are looking <laughs> hot. Oh, thank you. You too. Oh. Damn! You got some fat ass girl. <laughs> the men are going to watch you today. <laughs> last Get day, ready. isn't it? <laughs> so let me go and grab someone. So Lily and I set off for the carnival. We made a stop over at a house. It was a really beautiful garden home. Very huge green compound. It was a mansion. Immediately we entered the gate and parked. Something happened. I felt a sharp pain in my lower abdomen. Ouch! Mommy! Ouch! Oh, what's oh, wrong? Oh. Are you okay? I don't know. Um, I feel a sharp pain in my abdomen. Oh, wow. We can cancel the carnival. Oh, no, no, no. We, we can go. It's nothing. I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. 
I'm just grabbing a few items here, then we go. Okay, sure, but uh, where are we now? Can I can I use the washroom? Yes, yes, yes. Come upstairs. Um, this is my boyfriend's family house. I don't think he's home. He said he was stepping out with some of his friends. So Lily took me inside, and I must say, the mansion was beautiful. As I walk, I felt very weak. It was as if something was going to happen to me. My heart was beating. I entered the washroom and took out my pregnancy testing kit. It was time for me to check. I started to pee. I peed a little on the stick and held it up. The result finally came. I picked my phone and called Mr. Anaman. Hello, Mr. Anaman. Oh, hello, mommy. Mr. Anaman, I'm pregnant. Hey. Two thick lines showed on the testing kit. I couldn't hold back anymore. I started to cry. How did I end up here? Two kids already, without a father, and now I'm pregnant for another man. I wiped my tears and touched up my makeup again. I came out of the washroom, went downstairs, and joined Lily in the hall. Hey, are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm much better. Okay. But let me know if you don't feel too good. We can stay home instead. I wasn't okay. I wasn't. The walls of the house just gave me some chills. It was as if I wasn't supposed to be here. Something kept on telling me to leave. Leave, mommy. Leave immediately. So I picked up my purse. But before Lily and I walked out, she was on the phone talking to someone about me. Baby, where are you? I came by your house. Remember the girl I told you about? The one that I said I met at the cake. While she was talking to her boyfriend, something caught my eyes by the TV. It was a photo of Lily and her boyfriend. Kissing. Oh yeah, my god. Well together. Are you coming to meet us there? Please, baby, please come. Yeah, I miss you too. Okay, okay. Just hold on and say hello to her. Mommy, my boyfriend wants to say hello to you. His name is Frankie. As Lily stretched out her hand and gave the phone to me, my whole body trembled. I took the phone from her. Then she left to pick up some stuff from the kitchen. Hello? Hey, what's up? Lily tells me you girls are headed out to the kind of <laughs> unfortunately I can't make it. I was hoping to see you. She says so much about you. But why don't you extend your ticket and stay longer in Portugal? We'll be happy to host you. Joey? Hello? Joey Brandon Smith? Hello? <laughs> jo Joey, this is mommy. Jesse? Jesse? It wasn't long after, as I held the phone in silence, with tears flooding my eyes. Lily walked back in. I gave the phone back to her, staring at the photo by the TV. A photo of Lily and my baby daddy, Joey. Mommy, is everything okay? Why are you crying? Hello? Frankie, did you say anything to mommy? Do you guys know each other? No, I, I, I don't know her. Obviously, he had to. He denied knowing me. Then Lily asked me, Mommy, do you know him? No, I, I don't know him. Not anymore. This is <laughs> two similar answers. 
But just a word made a difference. Joey denied knowing me to save his relationship and identity with Lily. But I denied knowing him to save my heart and my soul. I walked out of that house, never looked back at it ever again, ever.